Okay, going into our standard today, we're dealing with 5.2c, which is I can round decimals to tenths or hundredths. This is a lot like rounding with whole numbers, except we're dealing with it being behind the decimal. Okay, so I am not accountable for that new guy that we learned about this year in our decimal, which is the thousands. thousands. The reason I'm not accountable for having to round to the nearest thousands is because if you had to round to the nearest thousands, you'd have to look at the one right next to it, which is the ten thousands, to determine if it stays the same or rounds up. Okay? So we don't mess with him in our um, learning this year. Now, with our title of rounding decimals today, I'm going to give you a little background story. My little story starts off with my best friend, who is this gal right here. Y'all might hear me talk about her a little bit. Her name is Laura. And you're going to see her in pictures around the room. But she is my, what I call, right-hand man. And what I mean by my right-hand man is she moved across the street from me whenever we were four. And she basically grew up with me, went to high school together. Um, she is still my best friend today. In fact, she's a kindergarten teacher in Keller right now. And I do all my photography with her. Now, she's my partner in crime, my best friend, my confidant, one who tells me secrets, who I trust. So what that has to do with today, her being my right-hand man, in decimals, we actually deal with the right-hand man. In fact, I want us to do an example of 0.49. How do I say this in word form, Jasmine? Excellent. Well, if I wanted you to round, say, to your nearest tenths, because that's how you're going to hear it this year, round to your nearest tenths, round to your nearest hundredths. I'm not stating that you no longer will be rounding the whole numbers, but you've already learned that. Today we're going to talk about rounding to near tenths and hundredths. So we're going to start off with an example of our tenths. Get this one in your notes. So with 49 hundredths, I am going to go to that, refer to that poem that we wrote, or that way of remembering. I'll get right back to it. How do I round? Well, I always think about the number in question. Which place value am I rounding to? And it's the right-hand man, the digit right next to it, that tells it if it's four or less, it's going to let it rest or remain the same. If it's five or more, it's telling it to raise the score or add one more or basically round up. So let's look back at that number, 49 hundredths. What I want y'all to get in the habit of doing is circling the place that's in question. Which one, which place do I need to circle, Cole? The tenths. The tenths, which is which digit? The four. The four. Circle the four <coughs> in your notes. And the one right next to it, I want you to underline because this is the right-hand man. It's the digit that's bossy to the best friend, okay? It tells it what to do. This is the one that you need to see. Are you a zero through four? And are you telling this one to stay the same? Or are you five through nine? And if that's the case, it's going to say, boot up, become one more. So what is that nine telling it to do? Boot up. Good. What is a boot up to become, Mark? Like buffer or back off. <laughs> It's going to raise it to tell it to become a? A five. 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 So I cannot forget one thing, though, that's very important. Do not forget your decimal. Desi needs to be there, and it needs to become a five. Yeah, nine is telling the four to buff up or get back down. Buff up or back down. Okay, but it, it doesn't ever become a lesser digit. It either stays the same or becomes one more, one higher. Now, this is an important aspect. Please listen to this carefully. In the past, y'all are used to, once you raise that one or tell it to stay the same, what does everything behind it become? Zero. It becomes a zero. Now, I need you to know that in decimals, zero has no value. So I can, in fact, put that zero there. But also, 
Exactly. I could put however many zeros would be needed. But really, when it says round to the nearest tenths, do I need this digit here? No. No, when there's no value at all. So what I want you to see is that 50 hundredths is the same as, as 5 tenths. And in fact, this is what's going to be expected of you. This is the better answer of the two, is just to drop off the zeros at the end. Okay? Let's practice that on one more. In fact, um, before we drop off some more zeros, let's go to this guy. Point oh oh eight. How do I say that in word form, Sophie? You can say that in zero. I mean, you can say that in zero and eight. Eight thousand. Excellent. I really want you to tell me now, if I were to go ahead and say, let's round this to the nearest hundredths. Let's practice rounding one to the hundredths. Hundredths, Jackson. It would be zero and one hundred. One hundred. Excellent. Will you come and show us our strategy of circling? our digit in question, underlining the right hand man, and show us why you decided for that one to boot up. You stepped on me. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Eight times five, or becomes more, or a ten. And the ten can't be there, because it just can't. So it goes. Well, first of all, with my hundredths place in question, that's what you initially need to circle. Will you please circle your hundredths location? Okay, who's the right hand man? Uh, Underline him. What is the eight tell that zero to do? Boot up. Boot up to become a? One. One. So yes, excellent job. Go for five. Yay. This should now be zero. Eight. Eight. One. 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 Does this say, this, because this actually happened within the last couple of classes. Samuel, does this stay in eight? No. 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 It automatically becomes a zero. zero. And what did we say to do with the zeros? They just drop it off. Because really, this is equal to this. And this is the better answer whenever I said round to the nearest hundredth. This is my hundredth place. That's where it should end. Your zero vanishes. Awesome. It's like you're in an airplane and it just drops out. Um, drop out no. some manure. Drop the manure. Okay, so they have to so, no, like people oh, just jump in the Line your right hand man. I don't know. What does it state to do? If it okay. And whenever it goes says to to go down is what you said. Do, do I make it a digit that's less than four, or does it stay the same? No, it goes down. That's okay. So. Guys, with rounding, do we ever go down to a different digit? No, we will, it'll either stay the same. That's why I, I never use those terms, round down. I always say round to stay the same or round up. Yes, good. But remember to include your decimal as well. Okay, so write that underneath that. 
our new decimal to the nearest ten. Sissy. Sissy. Oh. Hey, Sissy. Do you want me to write happened after we round this to the nearest tenth? What happens to everybody behind? Yeah. No, our decimal did not move. Decimal oh, did not move. Um, use the eraser. Use the Oh, oh my God. Just put it's it a down. Big part. No, like the eraser, but it's flat to the board. <laughs> well, it should work. Let's <laughs> 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 that version is one good draw. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Now, Cameron, one thing I want you to think. Whenever I round, pretend this is just the number 437. If I am rounding this to the nearest hundred, whenever you round it to the nearest hundred, what did everybody behind it become? Zero. Good. So it's going to be the same thing here. What does everybody become behind it? <coughs> zeros. Good. So place those zeros there. And then we're going to talk about it in the class. But my decimal also needs to come down. The same place where it was. Excellent. Go, Kupa. Good job. And y'all, this is fresh. This is brand new. So... As there are questions, we'll kind of answer them. Now, since Cameron did this so great and rounded to our nearest tenth, we need to just stop at our tenth place. So what do I do with these zeros, Samuel? Drop them. I just drop no, them can off. can I do it? Okay. So it's going to be point four. Now let's take that same decimal, point four three seven, four three seven, and I'm going to round the same number to the nearest hundred. Ooh, can I do it? Sonia, come and round this to the nearest hundred. She's circling her hundreds place, underlining her right hand man. And it becomes decimal four, four. And what did she do with the now zero? What did she do with that? She just dropped it. Good. And then we came 4,400. Go ahead and clip up.